The workshop that you ran was so inspiring and gave really practical tips. I think that's the important, but it prompted me to really think about myself and how I approach things and giving me some tools and tips to practically go away and write down and commit to doing something. So I think that's the huge value add in coming away with an action plan. Being in the audience of one of Sue's events is that she's able to engage with every single person that's in the audience. Um, everybody's able to find something that totally resonates with them and is, it finds a way to change a behaviour off the back of it. Um, for me in particular, from a resilience side, uh, that, was, that was really important for me. Um, it helped me to just look forward and get through my challenges um, and make a difference in how I approach that. For working with Sue, having Sue deliver is marvellous because you're guaranteed you're going to get good feedback. But she understands, she gets the culture, she gets the people and she delivers constantly for us. On the basis of that, I'm happy. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage Dr Sue Mitchell. I'm Dr Sue Mitchell, I'm an author, I speak internationally and I'm the director of an award-winning leadership and executive coaching company, AONA. I work with organisations, leaders and individuals to transform the workplace, change lives and make our world a better place. So I work with you to raise performance and achieve your desired outcomes. And my approach is one, to develop a positive mindset and culture that raises confidence, resilience, engagement and well-being. Confidence doesn't happen because you never have self-doubt. Confidence happens because you accept there will always be moments when you have doubts. And two, to harness the power of purpose aligned with shared values, to inspire energy, focus, and momentum, to bring people together, and to influence change. Mr. Ferry, the reason we feel stress or whether we feel well-being is not necessarily because of what's actually happening. It's not the stresses themselves, but it's how we respond to them. We can all contribute to making our world a better place by being aware of our thoughts and actions and the impact that has on others around us. And initiate ripples that spread and grow to influence positive change for a sustainable future. And we can start by creating the environment around us where everyone can excel. For you and each person around you to thrive and flourish and be their best, to create a high performing team and to be able to embrace diversity in all its forms and particularly of thought and different perspectives and different experiences so that you can embrace the, or harness the power of diversity without the negative impacts that are so often reported when teams and boards first try to raise diversity. We're now living in the fourth industrial revolution, which is called the age of tech, but it's actually also the age of human, because AI, technology, and disruptive business models are completely transforming the way that we work. So how do you, as a person, as a leader, be more resilient to support both yourself and especially your team to embrace these challenges of transformative change that is impacting every level of your organisation? If you choose to focus on what you can control, you will be more effective. And ultimately, the only thing you really can control is yourself, your mindset. And especially important your mindset because that shapes the way you think, the way you feel, the way you behave, the way you act, and therefore the way you interact with other people. My approach focuses on how you can take control of your mindset, which determines how you perceive and interact with the world around you. And it gives you the foundation to grow your mental strength, your confidence and your resilience, so that you can actually embrace this challenge of not just managing with change, but thriving through change. So when we asked Sue to come along and see if she could do our event, she was so enthusiastic. We were really interested in making sure she got the brief right and the pitch as to what was it we were looking for, what were we hoping that our delegates would go away with, and really shaped something around that. So it was very much a two-way conversation. Sue was really engaged all the way through the process um, and a really easy person to engage with from a planning point of view because we always knew she was there, she kept in touch, there was no last minute panic, we had all our slides and everything in well in advance so we could make sure everything was ready for a run through. 
I love to invite the audience to bring their own current situation to what we're talking about so they can use the tools and the thought processes as we go through the event and apply it to their own situation so that when they leave the event they've got some immediately applicable actions that they can use straight away and so achieve an outcome as a result of coming and spending time at this event and make it really worth their while. She's always very engaging with our speakers and it's just been absolutely fantastic. Sue ran a really engaging session where she taught us about really listening to our clients and, um, and being able to influence through techniques such as storytelling. We got really good feedback from those sessions. It's a couple of months now, me and Sue have been working together on this event. She's always been great at adapting to what I needed on the day, but also she was really helpful in suggesting things that I could do to tweak the agenda to make the day overall just better. I mean, Sue is really great in terms of, she's got a lot of experience in this area, so I learned a lot from Sue um, throughout the whole process, and I would really recommend anyone to book her for, for anything like this. She's just great. If you were to choose a different frame, think of it as like, okay, that could be the case, but let me try on a different pair of glasses. Let's look at it through a different lens. What else could there be? Could there be some skills I could learn? What did that person do that was differently? What could I learn from them? Could I ask them to be a mentor? Whatever it is, try it out. It doesn't matter if it's true or not, but simply by trying it out, you might gain a different perspective that could lead to a solution that until now was just a brick wall. So take home point there, when you're stuck, try out a different frame, change your glasses.